from KDKA TV2 Pittsburgh. This is Eyewitness News Update Weekend Edition. Good evening, it happened again tonight. From KDKA TV2 Pittsburgh. This is Eyewitness News Update. Good evening. Two people have been arrested in Missouri. <laughs> From KDKA TV to Pittsburgh. This is Eyewitness News Update. Good evening. The shock waves are still rolling in tonight. From, From KDKA TV 2. This is Eyewitness News, the Tri-State News Leader. Lisa Keys. Rick Davenport. Ron Crozier. Kevin Brewer. This is Channel 3 News at 10. First in the Brazos Valley. This is KBTX-TV, Bryan College Station. Lisa Keys. Jeff Braun. Ron Crozier. Kevin Brewer. This is Channel 3 News at 6. KBTX-TV, Bryan College Station. Channel 3 News. First news at 5. You're watching WRCB Channel 3 Chattanooga. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News with Jim Thrasher and Frenchie Brewer, meteorologist Terry Depke, and Clark Schaefer with sports. And now, Eyewitness News. WSTM TV, Syracuse. And now, Channel 3 News Nightcast with Tom Miller, Lisa Schweitzer, Roger Springfield on sports, and meteorologist Wayne Mahar. Good evening and thanks for joining us. There is relief tonight for a clay woman who... WSTM TV, Syracuse. And now, Channel 3 News Nightcast with Jackie Robinson. Steve Schnall on sports, and meteorologist Sam Evans. Good evening. The News Station, WSTM-TV. And now, Channel 3 News Nightcast with Jackie Robinson, Steve Schnall on sports, and meteorologist Sam Evans. Good evening. News Station. WSTM-TV. And now, Channel 3 News at 6. With John Nicholson and Lisa Schweitzer. Roger Springfield on sports. And meteorologist Wayne Mahar. Good evening. What you are eating could kill you. WSTM, the news station. And now, live from the New York State Fair, Channel 3 News at 6. Here we go to the balloons to open the 1989 New York State Fair. Oh. The News Station, WSTM-TV. And now, Channel 3 News Nightcast with John Nicholson and Lisa Schweitzer, Roger Springfield on sports, and meteorologist Wayne Mahar. Good evening and thanks for being with us. News Station, WSTM-TV, Syracuse. And now, Channel 3 News, Olympic Edition. Good evening, here are some of the stories we'll have for you tonight on Channel 3 News Nightcast. You're watching WSTM, Channel 3 in Syracuse. And now, John Nicholson, Jackie Robinson, meteorologist Wayne Mahar, and Roger Springfield on sports. 
This is Channel 3 News at 6. In touch with Central New York. The story about what this man did has changed. And so has the charge. Good evening. Up front tonight... You're watching WSTM Channel 3 in Syracuse. And now, John Nicholson, meteorologist Wayne Mahar, and Roger Springfield on sports. This is Channel 3 News Nightcast, in touch with Central New York. They are getting organized. Are they against older people? They say, no, that's not the problem. Good evening. It's a neighborhood near Syracuse University. You're watching WSTM Channel 3 in Syracuse. And now, Matt Mulcahy, meteorologist Hank Lucas, and sports with David Ryan. This is Channel 3 News Nightcast, in touch with Central New York. The fight for freedom coming fast and furious in the Soviet Union. People are changing history before our eyes. Now, from the News Center for Northern California, this is News Center 4. Now, from the News Center for Northern California, this is Midday. Now, from the Emmy Award-winning News Center for Northern California, this is News Center 4. Good evening, everybody. Late this afternoon, a federal court in Washington, D.C. reached across... Bob Jimenez, Evan White, Mark Thompson Weather, Tom Nettle Sports, Bob McCarthy in Telecopter 4. And now, from the News Center for Northern California, this is Live at 5. Sylvia Chase, Jim Paymar, Mark Thompson Weather, Tom Nettle Sports... Wayne Shannon with commentary. And now, from the West's most honored newsroom, the News Center for Northern California, this is News Center 4. Sylvia Chase, Jim Paymar, Mark Thompson Weather, Tom Nettle Sports, Wayne Shannon with commentary. And now, from the West's most honored newsroom, the News Center for Northern California, this is News Center 4. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, the sweet sound of industry will... Emerald Gay, Jerry Graham, Pat Finn Weather, Gary Ratnett Sports. And now, from the West's most honored newsroom, the News Center for Northern California, this is News Center 4. Jim Paymar, Evan White, Mark Thompson Weather, Tom Nettle Sports, Wayne Shannon with commentary. And now, from the West's most honored newsroom, the News Center for Northern California, this is News Center 4 Update. Now, from the News Center for Northern California, live on 4. Roz Abrams, Jim Paymar, Mark Thompson Weather, Tom Nettle Sports, Wayne Shannon with commentary. And now, from the News Center for Northern California, this is News Center 4. KXJB TV 4. This is the weekend edition of KX4 News with Ted Claude, Joe Wiseman, and Roger Dakerman. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. For the first time... This is the 6 p.m. edition of KX4 News with Charlie Johnson, Teresa Joy, Steve Poitras, and Tom Coyne. From the Kansas City News Leader WDAF-TV, this is Action 4 Nightcast with Cynthia Smith, Bill Witt, Dan Henry Weather, and Gordon Docking Sports. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. From the Kansas City News Leader WDAF-TV, this is Action 4 Nightcast with Mary Gresham, Mike Farlander, Dick Hochter Weather, and Al Wallace Sports. Again, good evening. Thanks for joining us.
From Western New York's first news station, here is News 4 Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Coop. And I'm Carol Jason. Bethlehem Steel... From Western New York's first news station, here is News 4 Update. Good evening, I'm Rich Newberg for Bob Coop. And I'm Carol Jason in the news tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Coop. And I'm Carol Jason in the news tonight. FBI agents here in Buffalo have uncovered... From Western New York's news leader, this is News 4 Buffalo Update with Bob Coop, Jackie Walker, Van Miller, and Don Paul. Good evening. In the news tonight, another blow to the Western New York economy. From Western New York's news leader, this is News 4 Buffalo Update with Rich Newberg, Carol Jason, Van Miller, and Don Paul. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carol Jason for Jackie Walker. March went out like a lion, dumping about eight inches of snow in western New York. It's 11 o'clock. Now, from western New York's news leader, this is News 4 Buffalo Update. With Rich Newberg, Brian Blessing on sports, and Maria Gennaro with the weather. And a good evening to you. It's 11 o'clock. And now, Buffalo's number one newscast with Bob Coop, Jackie Walker, Van Miller with Big Board Sports, and meteorologist Ted Texter with the weather. This is News 4 Update. On a warm March night, there's a threat to the Buffalo State campus, and students are told to evacuate. And now, Western New York's number one newscast with Bob Coop. Carol Jason, Van Miller's Big Board Sports, and meteorologist Ted Texter. This is News 4 Buffalo. From Western New York's first news station, here is News 4 Update. This is Eyewitness News Morning with newscasters Tom Green and Karen Carnes. Meteorologist Karen Falloon and sportscaster Ed Cairo. And good morning. Well, today is Monday, the 10th of October. Now, Cindy Brucato, Dennis Bounds, and meteorologist Dennis Felkin. This is Eyewitness News at 5. Cindy Brucato, Stan Turner, meteorologist Dennis Felkin, and Bob Bruce with sports. This is Eyewitness News. Now, Marsha Fleur, meteorologist Dave Dahl, and Larry Burnett with sports. This is Eyewitness News. Good evening. Now, Cindy Brucato, Stan Turner, meteorologist Dennis Felkin, and Bob Bruce with sports. The Eyewitness News Update. Good evening, everyone. Well, you saw it all tonight here on Channel 5, live from the Dome, the Minnesota Vikings and the Dallas Cowboys brought down the curtain in style. Now, Stan Turner, Marsha Fleur, Meteorologist Dave Dahl and Larry Burnett with sports. 
This is Eyewitness News. This is Eyewitness News. It has been the kind of cold that takes your breath away. Temperatures of more than 20 below all day. Wind chill factors reaching 80 degrees below and more. Good evening and Merry Christmas. We hope all of the clothing fit, all of the toys worked, and aren't you glad you bought that sled for your kids for Christmas? Once again, and welcome to the special report on what we are calling Fire on the Mall. Now, Cindy Brucato, Stan Turner, Dennis Felkin, and Bob Bruce. This is Eyewitness News. St. Anthony, New Brighton, and Moundsview were the hardest hit by high winds. Now, Cindy Brucato. Stan Turner, Dennis Belkin, and Bob Bruce. This is the Eyewitness News Update. Tonight in St. Paul... Good evening, everybody. We will be going back to the Summer Olympic Games in Los Angeles after this abbreviated version of the Eyewitness News Update. Now, from Minnesota's leading news station, Cindy Bricotto, Stan Turner, Dennis Belkin, and Bob Bruce. This is Eyewitness News. And good evening, everyone. Cindy is on vacation. Now, from Minnesota's leading news station, Cindy Brucato, Stan Turner, Dennis Belkin, and Bob Bruce. This is the Eyewitness News Update. Now, from Minnesota's leading news station, Cindy Brucato, Stan Turner, Dennis Belkin, and Bob Bruce. This is the Eyewitness News Update. Good evening, everyone. continues with the team that covers the Twin Cities and all of Minnesota. This is Eyewitness News at 6. Seven weeks after 13-year-old Sarah Raritan disappeared. Now, the team that covers the Twin Cities and all of Minnesota brings you the latest news tonight. This is the Eyewitness News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Angela Storr.
Now, the team that covers the Twin Cities and all of Minnesota brings you the latest news tonight. This is the Eyewitness News Update. the latest news tonight. This is the Eyewitness News Update. CPTV, Minnesota's News Channel 5. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5, this is Eyewitness News Morning. Good morning, everyone. It's 6 o'clock on this Wednesday, July the 15th. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5. Frank Somerville, Wendy Lubavitch, Bill Ranby, and Ed Cairo bring you Eyewitness News Morning. And good morning, everyone. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5. Bob Bruce, Wendy Lubavitch, Karen Falloon, and Joe Schmidt bring you Eyewitness News Morning. Good morning, 24 degrees on the outside. Five from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5. Stan Turner, Ruth Spencer, Dave Dahl, and Joe Schmidt bring you Eyewitness News Live at 5. And good afternoon, everyone. You're watching KSTP-TV, Minnesota's News Channel 5. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5. Mark Sapelsa, Angela Astor, Dave Dahl, and Mark Curtis bring you Eyewitness News, live at 5. I come. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5. Stan Turner, Ruth Spencer, Dave Dahl, and Bob Bruce bring you Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening, everyone. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5. Stan Turner, Ruth Spencer, Dave Dahl, and Mark Curtis bring you Eyewitness News at 6. This is a live picture of the uptown area in Minneapolis. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5, Stan Turner, Ruth Spencer, Dave Dahl, and Joe Schmidt bring you the Eyewitness News Update. Good evening, everyone. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5, Stan Turner, Ruth Spencer, Dave Dahl, and Mark Curtis bring you the Eyewitness News Update. Baseball's tops in the American League met for the first time under the big top tonight. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5, Mike Binkley, Karen Falloon, and Mark Stevens bring you the Eyewitness News Update. It was a hero's welcome tonight for the team that's the best in the West. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5. Angela Astor, Karen Falloon, and Rob Lear bring you Eyewitness News. Good evening, everyone. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5. Stan Turner, Ruth Spencer... Dave Dahl and Mark Curtis bring you Eyewitness News. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5, Mike Binkley, Karen Falloon, and Mark Stevens bring you Eyewitness News. Live from Minnesota's News Channel, KSTP Channel 5, this is Eyewitness News.
Good evening, everyone. Passengers on a Northwest plane. KRIS TV, Corpus Christi. And now, News Center 6 tonight. With meteorologist Dale Nelson and his Weather Watcher Network. Coastal Bend Sports by Bill Vesey. And with the news, Jay Ritchie and Rudy Trevino. This is News Center 6 tonight. Live from the News Center, today's news with Rick Benjamin, Marshall Lenz, Sports with Tom Cornellis, and meteorologist Terry Swales. This is News Center 6 at 6. Center 6 at 10 with Sheldon Ribson, Kim Benson, Sports with Steve Sizer, and Terry Swales Weather. This is News Center 6. You're watching KWQC TV, the news leader, making a difference in the Quad Cities. Center. Today's news with Ron Elke, Carolyn Whetstone, sports with Dan Pearson, and Lori Adams Weather. This is News Center 6 at 6. This is KWQC TV Davenport, the recognized leader in television news. Now, News Center 6 at 6. With Don Ryan, Andrea Zinga, sports with Tom Cornelis, and John David Weather. This is News Center 6. This is KWQC TV Davenport, the recognized leader in television news. Now, News Center 6 at noon. With Andrea Zinga and Terry Swales weather. This is News Center 6. You're watching KWQC TV, the news leader, making a difference in the Quad Cities. Live from the News Center, tonight's news with Rick Benjamin and Paula Sands. Sports with Tom Cornelis. And weather with meteorologist Terry Swales. This is News Center 6 tonight. You're watching KWQC-TV, the news leader, making a difference in the Quad Cities. Live from the News Center, today's news with Ron Elke and Carolyn Whetstone. Sports with Dan Pearson and weather with Mike Mickle. This is News Center 6 at 6. News Scene 7, live at 5. In-depth coverage of today's events. This is News Scene 7, live at 5. Good afternoon, I'm Deborah Mathis. And I'm Steve Barr. Little Rock Pine Bluff. From Arkansas's news and information leader, this is Channel 7 News, live at 5. The seatbelt controversy goes to court. Good afternoon, I'm Kelly Minton. And I'm David Davis. It's KATV. This is Channel 7 News at 6. With Andy Pearson and Health Matters, Susan Rosgen. Ned Fermi with the Weekend Weather Scale. Paul Wheels on Sports. Special Assignment Reporter Deborah Mathis. And the Channel 7 News Team. This is KATV, the spirit of Arkansas. This is Channel 7 News at 10 with David Davis. Aviva Diamond and the spirit of Arkansas. Ned Burmey and the Channel 7 Weather Watchers. Arkansas's favorite sportscaster, Paul Eels. Special assignment reporter, Kelly Metton. And the entire Channel 7 News team. This is KATV, the spirit of Arkansas. 
Live from the Little Rock Airport, this is a special edition of Channel 7 News Live at 5. Little Rock to London, the flight of the Concord. Now, from Arkansas's News and Information Center, this is News Scene 7. News Scene 7, an Arkansas tradition, now in its 31st year. From the News and Information Center of Arkansas, this is News Scene 7 Update. News Scene 7, an Arkansas tradition, now in its 31st year. News Scene 7 Update with Greg Hurst, Aviva Diamond, Ned Permy, and Arkansas Sportscaster of the Year, Paul Eels. This is News Scene 7 Update. Leader Chuck Bartholomew, Kerry Paulson, Jerry Bartz, and Lee Timmerman. This is the evening report. The danger of tornadoes has been on most North Dakotans' minds the last two nights. Severe weather once again. Moved News Center 7 tonight with Steve Brondonero, Sally Fitz, Mark Wollen Broward, Andy Lescano Sports, Bob Soper Weather. The sun is about to disappear from the sky. We are about to witness a solar eclipse, something that we haven't seen in America since 1951. Because the invisible rays from the sun could cause blindness, the best way to watch this amazing display is on television. And that's just what we're going to do. Good afternoon. During the next half hour, we will show you live shots of the moon as it blocks out the sun. Good evening. Bob Monroe is back in court. The former fire coordinator has filed a $1.5 million libel and slander suit. Good evening. Apathy there's not. All the talk of low voter interest and low voter turnout in this election has proved to be just that. No more than talk. News Center 7 with Steve Rondonero, Sally Fitz, Lee Webb Sports, Bob Soper Weather, and from News Center 7's Broward Bureau, Mark Wollin. watching the news channel for Southern Nevada, KLAS-TV, Channel 8, Las Vegas. Now, live, Brian Gresh, Tommy Joe Taylor, the 5 o'clock news. Hello, everybody. I'm Brian Gresh. And I'm Tommy Joe Taylor. Thanks for joining us this evening. Meyer Television News. Good evening. This is Newswatch 8 Weekend. TV 8 WSCX. From Richmond and the heart of Virginia, this is TV 8 Live Eyewitness News with Jim Bailey and Janet Peckinpah, TV 8 meteorologist Craig Weber, and on sports, Ken Strayhorn. Good evening. There is a lot of news tonight, but before we get on with that, let's talk to Ken Strayhorn with some real exciting news. This is TV8 Live Eyewitness News with Barbara Berlin, Loretta Johnson on weather, and on sports, Lou Charlotte. Good evening. Fans react to a possible football strike. I'm Teresa Lewis. We'll have that story coming up. Coming up, now that Paul Tribble isn't running for the Senate, what is his next political step? 
tensions heat up tonight in the Persian Gulf as a U.S. helicopter attacks an Iranian tanker. And a new battle is being waged against polio. We'll tell you about it in Eye on Health. And even though the NFL is going on strike, there's a football team in Texas that's getting a little lift from the girls. Good evening or good morning. Mm -hmm. I'm Paula Alexander. And I'm Mark Alexander. Our late, late edition of Eyewitness News is coming up. From WXCX TV8, Virginia's news channel, this is Eyewitness News Nightcast. So as of uh, midnight tonight, the players in the National Football League will be on strike once again. And so it's official. The strike is on. It sure is. It's not a good situation for anybody. From the proud, beautiful big country of Texas, Pablo Pereira. Rex Andrew and Steve Busalaki. This is the Big Country News Sunday Update. You're watching KRBC TV Abilene, KACB TV San Angelo. Live from the KRBC TV Telecommunications Center for the Big Country and Concho Valley. This is 9 News at 6 with Bob Fields and Delane Matthews. Thank you for watching WAFB Channel 9, Louisiana's news channel. This is Newsline 9 at 5 with Paul Gates, Brenda Braxton, and meteorologist Mike Graham. Good afternoon, I'm Donna Britt for Paul Gates. Thank you for watching WAFB Channel 9, Louisiana's news channel. This is Newsline 9 at 6 with George Sells, Donna Britt, meteorologist Mike Graham, and sports with Andre Morrow. The incredible power of Mother Nature slamming into the Mississippi River shoreline at the Old River Bridge. Thank you for watching WAFB Channel 9, Louisiana's news channel. This is Newsline 9 at 10 with George Sells, Donna Britt, meteorologist Mike Graham, and sports with Andre Morrow. Thank you for watching WAFB Channel 9, Louisiana's news channel. This is Newsline 9 at 10 with Phil Rainier, weather with Badge Carell, and sports director Steve Schneider. Hello, everyone. Happy Easter from WAFB-TV Baton Rouge. This is Newsline 9, the 10 o'clock report. This is Newsline 9, the 5 o'clock news. Television and the state's most honored broadcast news operation. This is the 6 o'clock edition. Cake News with Rose Stanley, Randy Brown, Jim O'Donnell, and Mark Allen. This is Live at 5. Cake News with Rose Stanley, Jim O'Donnell, and Mark Allen. This is the 6 o'clock edition. Live at noon, it's Cake's Kaleidoscope with Mogi Langston and Dale Summers. News with Diana Markley, Dave Schaefer's weather, and much more. Now, here are your hosts, Mogi and Dale. The station people turn to for news. Now, closed captioned for the hearing impaired. Cake TV 10, Wichita. Cake News with M.J. McKittrick, Vince Patton. Dave Schaefer and Greg Rittman. This is the 10 o'clock edition. Cake News. This is News Brief.
10 News First Edition with Michael Tuck, Bray Walker, and the entire 10 News team. Now, from 10 News, Carol LeBeau, Bree Walker, Michael Tuck's Perspective, Mike Ambrose with Weather, and Mike Smith on Sports. This is Nightcast. Good evening at 11 o'clock on this Friday. And you're watching News Channel 10 for Central Texas. This is News Channel 10 at 6 with Lloyd Immel, Vicki Buffalino, Rusty Garrett in the Weather Center, and John Morris on Sports. Of this day. So help me God. So help me God. This is Channel 10 News Weekend with Annette Gonzalez, Dave Evans in the Weather Center, and Rob Kernock on Sports. It's 10 o'clock. And you're watching KWTX Television, News Channel 10 for Central Texas. From Central Texas News Leader, this is News Channel 10 tonight. It's 5 o'clock, and you're watching KWTX Television, News Channel 10 for Central Texas. Central Texas Most Watched News Channel. This is Live at Five with Lori Scott and John Morris. This is WJAR, Channel 10, Providence. And now, from Southern New England's leading news station, Doug White, Patrice Wood, Gary Lay, and Frank Carpano. This is News Watch 10, the 11 o'clock report. For Monday, January 18th, 1982, this is Eyewitness 12 News, tonight. This is News Center 13 at 6, with John Bachman. Susie Robinette, meteorologist Tim Hedrick with weather, and Jeff Beinfor with sports. Good evening. A holiday tragedy in a small Iowa town tonight. A house fire in Grand Junction, Iowa, has killed a grandmother and her granddaughter. This is a late edition of News Center 13 with Scott Polk, Allison Gregory Polk, meteorologist Tom Atkins with weather, and Tony Powers with sports. Good evening, everyone. What a crummy end weather-wise to the Christmas holiday. This is WHO TV 13 Des Moines. And now, News Center 13 at 10 with John Bachman, Kelly Eckerman, Meteorologist Tim Hedrick with the weather, and Jeff Bimefor with the sports. Good evening. A Waterloo mother is under arrest tonight, charged with murdering her son. This is WHO TV 13 Des Moines. And now, News Center 13 at 6, with John Bachman, Susie Robinette, Meteorologist Tim Hedrick with the weather, and Jeff Beinfor with the sports. Complete news, weather, and sports for the Tri-State from WFIE-TV, 
This is Newswatch. Good evening, I'm David James. A WFIE-TV, Channel 14, Evansville. The one for you. The Tri-State's leading news team. Ann Comus, Mike Blake, Jeff Lyons weather with exclusive Doppler radar, and sports with Dean Webster. This is Newswatch at 5. Good evening and Live from the Tri-State's news leader, WFIE-TV, Channel 14, Evansville. This is Newswatch Sunrise with Hamilton Northcutt and Dan Katz. Hey, good morning. I'm Hamilton Northcutt. The news brief from 17. Catch-22 TV, serving the Willamette Valley from the state capitol. Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, April 2nd. I'm Kathy Randall. And I'm Don Clark. At 5 o'clock, here is the latest Valley News. From 24 Action News. This is the first report with Margie Reedy, Dick Ellis, and the Action News team. Good afternoon. This is the first report for Wednesday, December 15th. Margie Reedy is still on vacation. In today's news, the Nikola Gallon gasoline will be finished. From KDUE TV, Austin. 24 Action News with Ronald E. Beta, Kate Kelly, Ben Story, and Tim Ross. Good evening, everyone. At the top of today's news, a prison execution. Good evening. You're watching WNWO TV 24 Toledo. This is 24 News Watch. Good morning, everybody. This is News Center 27. Now, the St. Joseph Valley's fastest growing television news. With Mike Nikitas, Linda Kaufman, John Gallos and Weather, and John Hamas on Sports. This is WSJV News Watch 28. Now, news with Diane Barber. Weather with Bob Larson. And agribusiness with Colleen Callahan. Keeping you on top of the world. This is New Center 31 at noon. We're 44. We show you the guys. Now, John Nicholson. Barbara Callahan. Bob Wells Weather. Randy Scott with Sports. This is Eyewitness News. This 44 Eyewitness News break is brought to you by Burdines. <laughs> 